Okay, friends. <clears throat> Hello, friends. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner, and I am still at the Hancock Homestead, and it is evening, and it's cooled off. And uh, I thought that since I was out here and it wasn't raining, that I would take you on a short trip through the vegetable boxes. Um, so let's go check out the garden this year. First of all, I'm going to start off by showing you the failures. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I dug up by hand three rows of dirt to plant three rows of corn. And yeah, you can't hardly see the corn because of all the weeds. And what corn there is. Uh, it's pretty yellow because it doesn't have enough nitrogen. And uh, if I had a tiller, I would be tilling up between these rows of corn, but I don't. I'm not going to hand pull all of this. So we're just going to call the corn a failure this year. I think, for one thing, I got it in too late. Our whole gardening season this year was late. And I just wasn't here to take care of it properly. And then, over here, if you remember, whoops, stepped in a hole. Over here, if you remember, I had planted some Boston pickling cucumbers. And as you can tell, um, they got about, I don't know, a foot high, and that's it. And they have not been putting on much produce at all. I think the, the problem is is that the dirt I used at the beginning was mud and the mud turned into concrete and nothing can grow in concrete. So um, I mean some of them have some pretty nice flowers but I don't know there's there's a little flower there there's a little flower down in here but I don't know if we're going to get any any cucumbers. This is the only one I have seen. <laughs> so, that, that I'm going to consider a failure. You can't do anything with one pickling cucumber. Okay, but if we go over here and look at the boxes, I think we might end up with some good news from our boxes. So this box here is supposed to be the cherry tomatoes. Well, we got this huge windstorm that came along this morning and blew this over. <laughs> so they're leaning now. And as you can see, they're still green. All of my tomatoes are still green. John has been getting peppers out of the pepper box. So the peppers came along better than I first thought. There's a teeny tiny one. Twelve. He says he gets about one per plant, and there's twelve plants, so he gets about a dozen a day, I guess. Here are the Romas, and as you can see, most of them are still green. And with all of this rain that we've gotten in the last two days, I am afraid that they're going to end up splitting. Looks like I can pick the bad parts out of. These should be getting red pretty quick. Okay, lots of them on there. Just have to wait for them to get red. Sometimes my chickens have been escaping and eating some of them. See, look, they got into that one. I might be able to salvage that one. 
Okay. And then here are my better boys. <laughs> They're a lot bigger than the last time you saw them, aren't they? It's a jungle. John says we are going to have a lot of tomatoes once they get red. If they get red. Here they are from this side. The Midwest, we're about a month behind. Usually we start planting in the middle of May, first May, middle of May. This year we did not start planting until the middle of June. Usually we start harvesting the end of July. This year we're not going to start harvesting until the end of August maybe even September. That's how far behind everything is. Look at all those. Look at all those romas in there. Yeah, a lot of canning. As long as they turn red. And my cucumbers over here, they did really well. We're getting probably eight cucumbers a day. That's not too bad. So yeah, about we have 12 green peppers, and, or well, we have six green peppers, three red peppers, and three orange peppers. John's getting about 12 peppers a day, one from each plant. We're getting about eight cucumbers a day, two from each plant. And we're just kind of bringing in willy-nilly of the tomatoes, the romas. We've gotten a few romas. And there are a lot more flowers uh, in these cucumber plants. So I have a feeling we're going to be getting more cucumbers. Um, I can't remember what these were called. But these are a slicing cucumber. We have more flowers on the peppers, so hopefully we'll keep getting them. Take you down here and show you the chickens. We do still have chickens. I just have not been here to show you very, very much of them. I don't usually feed corn during the summer. Um, because they have other sources of protein, but this was some scratch that I had left over, so I just threw it out to get rid of it. Some of them are starting to roost. Let's go see the rest of them inside. Yeah, see some of them are starting to roost already. Hey guys. Yep, are y'all getting ready for bed up there? I know. All right. Okay, friends, well, if you like this short video about the update on the garden, the vegetable garden, and the chickens, remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about what's going on in my corner of the world, remember to subscribe to Kim's Country Corner. I'm back out here at the homestead for a couple weeks, so I hope to get in a few homesteading videos while I'm here. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye for now.